Hey everyone, Kyle Walker here. If you love cars, fixing things, or just want to understand your vehicle better, you're in the right place. I share hands-on tips, smart driving advice, and straight-up car talk without the fluff. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and stick around till the end. You don't want to miss what's coming up. Let's get more into and it. More often in recent times, you can hear about such a concept as a gearbox with a double clutch type. The meaning of double clutch is perplexing for many people and leaves a large number of questions. Robotic transmissions are currently being actively equipped with a similar mechanism. In addition to the traditional task of providing a clutch, this type of gearbox is also capable of pre-selecting the next speed while another gear is still engaged in parallel. This is possible due to the use of a pair of friction clutches in the design. Motorists are actively interested in the device, the principle of operation, the strengths and weaknesses of such a solution, how effective it is, and whether it really deserves attention, we need to understand. A little history. The creator of the double clutch system for gearboxes is considered to be a designer named Adolphe Keygress. This French engineer in the distant for most of us in 1939 outlined the basic essence of the work of the double clutch. Some time later, this development began to be applied to some racing cars. Although in the end the idea for a long time dusted on the shelves and remained fully realized only on paper. After 40 years, engineers of the German company Porsche remembered about the idea of keygress. They began to actively study the device and fully realize the ideas of the design. So it was Porsche that should be considered the first automaker to utilize the dual clutch principle on gearboxes in its cars. Their engineers clearly showed how it is possible to perform gear shifting when the gearbox is under load, in parallel without dropping the revs of the powertrain. At that time, namely in 1980, the development was a revolution and a real progress in the field of automobile construction. With the help of this innovation, it was possible to significantly reduce the effect of turbo sluggishness, which for turbocharged engines of that time was a real problem that could not be eliminated. As a result, shifting became smooth, even, and various jerks and dips disappeared. This allowed full torque transmission without any serious and noticeable losses. Features of the device some mistakenly compare gearboxes with a double clutch with mechanical gearboxes equipped with a servo drive. But in reality, the situation is somewhat different. This is not quite the right position, because here people are mainly starting from the operation of a conventional robotized gearbox. Not with a double, but a single clutch. The fact that there is a double clutch significantly changes not only the structure of the gearbox, but also the structure of the clutch disc. It is worth to remind that in our situation a pair of such discs is used simultaneously. If we compare the gearbox under consideration with a mechanical box, it turns out that the mechanics have one drive shaft on which all the key gears of the mechanism are placed, plus one disc and the so-called basket are used. Such an arrangement can be considered classic, while the double clutch has a completely different design. Let's start with the fact that here are used complex compound shafts. We can characterize the situation as a shaft within a shaft. Roughly speaking, it looks like this. In a metal tube, there is a bar of metal that extends beyond the tube itself and rotates inside the element. This allows the bar, the cat shaft, and the tube itself to rotate. This is the component element of the double clutch type gearbox. One part of the shaft is fitted with a set of gears which are odd gears. That is, it includes one, three, and five gears, which are responsible for the corresponding gears. On the second part are already even gears, that is, responsible for the inclusion of two, four, and six gears. Conventionally, the gearbox with a double clutch can be described as a design that combines the simultaneous operation of two mechanical transmissions. Here is the essence of the device, where conditionally two mechanics in a single mechanism carry out their work alternately. While one box is responsible for accelerating the car, the other is already in operation and performs meshing with the next speed. That is, first the car drives in first gear, for which one shaft is responsible. In parallel, the second shaft is preparing to move to second gear, and so on. Essentially, in such boxes, first and second gears are activated simultaneously when the car starts. Shifting from one shaft to the other provides the possibility of rapid transition from one gear to another with minimal loss of torque without dips and jerks. This is what is known as alternating operation. 
The box is also designed to utilize components from the robot system. These include electric drive and servo drive. They are responsible for shifting gears and other necessary processes, such as the work of clutch discs. There is no belt or torque converter, as in variator and automatic transmissions. Therefore, such gearboxes are often compared with mechanical gearboxes because of the presence of certain similarities between them. Principle of Operation Separately, it is necessary to understand the principle of operation of the double clutch because it is this moment that distinguishes the box against the background of other variants of transmissions installed on vehicles. You have already roughly understood how the double clutch is arranged and works. In fact, it is parallel or alternately working shafts in number of two pieces. Each shaft has its own clutch pack and a certain set of gears, but they are united in a single body and work as one coherent mechanism. In the design, we have two discs at the same time. The first takes over the odd gears, and the second is responsible for the even ones. That is, one, three, five, and two, four, six gears respectively. Read also, the principle of operation of the system when touching the car on the rise now specifically how this all works. At the moment of starting, when the car is moving off, one clutch disc responsible for first gear is compressed. In parallel, the second gear is engaged, but it is not yet involved in the work due to the fact that so far its disc is in an open state. Then, when the RPM of the power plant rises to the necessary mark to switch to the next speed, the first disc is opened and the second disc is compressed. By doing so, the transmission shifts from first gear to second gear. Since the second gear pinion was already in engagement at the time of shifting, the changeover is almost instantaneous. This allows no losses, jolts, jerks, and other unpleasant sensations. A huge advantage of boxes with a double clutch is that the speed of shifting from speed to the next gear is instantaneous. The procedure takes a fraction of a second, which remain completely unnoticeable for the driver and the engine. As studies show, on average it takes between 0.05 and 0.12 seconds to shift from one gear to another. Whether this is a lot or a little, Judge for yourself. The box is designed so that clutching and disengagement of discs is carried out alternately, engaging one or another speed, depending on the mode of operation of the engine and the current speed indicators. Double clutch on robotic transmissions designed for motor vehicles is realized in two ways. This allows the clutch to be divided into wet and dry types. Varieties of dual clutch. They are called dry and wet clutch. When choosing a car with such a robotized box, you should pay attention to what kind of clutch is involved in their transmissions, dry or wet. Different manufacturers use different versions of the system. At the moment, the dry type of clutch is considered the most common. According to statistics, it accounts for about 70% of all cars with such transmissions, characterized by the presence of a double clutch type. Wet systems are still less common, but their advantages include a longer service life. It is also noteworthy that there are automakers who use two variants of boxes with different clutch for their cars at the same time. A striking example is considered to be the German auto concern Volkswagen. Their range includes a robotic type box, labeled as DSG-6. This is a wet dual clutch variant. But there is also a DSG-7 box. And this is already a dry type of performance. Despite the apparent similarities, the difference between these two types of clutch is really significant. Dry type. This is almost a full-fledged analog of the mechanical clutch, that is, the system is quite close to mechanics. Here, discs are used, which carry out their rotation in the air. Purely physically, they are very similar to the discs that are used on mechanical boxes. The process of compression and unclamping is carried out thanks to the work of the electric drive. Wet type. And this is already a different double clutch. A distinctive feature is the fact that the rotation of discs is carried out in a wet environment, namely in the transmission oil. The process of unclamping and compression is carried out by the hydraulic system. Here we are already talking about an impressive similarity to conventional automatic gearboxes. Hence a natural question may arise, which concerns the reasons for the increased reliability of the wet clutch, which is ahead of its dry counterparts in this parameter. It's all about the gear oil. This lubricant provides not only rotation, but also highly efficient cooling during operation. This feature allows the wet clutch to withstand increased loads at high speeds. 
Under high loads, they do not burn up, unlike dry clutches. Dry variants rotate simply in the air, which results in certain limitations in terms of RPM. They cannot be too high. Otherwise, the discs will begin to overload, burn and fail. Replacement in this situation is not such an inexpensive procedure. Advantages and Disadvantages Finally, it is worth considering the strengths and weaknesses of the double clutch, which will allow you to summarize some results and make each of you your own conclusions. Equipping your car with a dual clutch does offer a number of advantages. But in parallel, you should not forget about the existing disadvantages, which for many buyers can be decisive in the question of refusing. The idea of buying a machine with a double clutch. Let's start with the positive qualities. The double clutch has several of them, modern and advanced technology. At the moment, this type of gearbox is considered the most advanced and relevant. This is a plus for those who want to be in the trend and always follow technical innovations. Smoothness of operation. Of the more significant advantages that manifest themselves in practice, specialists and experts emphasize the quality of work. When equipping the car with a double clutch, it is possible to get rid of such unpleasant moments as jolts and jerks. The stroke becomes absolutely smooth. No loss of torque. If for conventional atmospheric engines, it is not so important. Then in the case of turbocharged engines, the absence of losses is an incredibly significant advantage. Shift speed. The gears shift with astonishing speed. It takes no more than 0.05 to 0.12 seconds, which is an amazing result. Fuel economy. Another undeniable advantage of the double clutch robot is competent fuel consumption. In this component, the system wins even over manual transmissions. Dynamics of acceleration. It is also ahead of competitors in this indicator. Good dynamics and fast acceleration allow to start confidently even on cars with not the most powerful engine. The box very rationally disposes of available horsepower. Read also, what is the difference between summer and winter car wipers, but all is not as perfect as it may initially seem. Robotic transmissions equipped with a double clutch also have a number of negative qualities. Among the main and significant disadvantages stand out the following, complex device. The mechanism of the double clutch itself is far from simple. This complicates the design of the entire transmission, which entails a number of resulting negative consequences. Limited resource. Such boxes are not designed for long-term operation. As practice and statistics of references to car service shows, the life cycle of a double clutch on average is from 60 to 90,000 kilometers. For Europeans, it is normal, since they are not accepted to operate cars to the limits of the declared motor resource. High cost of repair. And it is rather softly said. The price of restoration and repair works in case of DSG and similar gearboxes is prohibitive. In some cases, it is required to pay about 10 to 20% of the cost of the car. You can imagine the sums we are talking about. Problems with availability of good service centers. In Europe, everything may be well with it. But we have a limited number of service centers and masters able to qualitatively repair such a box. Conditionally to disadvantages, it is possible to refer the fact that jerks and jolts appear in a mode of high intensity of movement. When the driver starts to gain speed sharply, then stops and again quickly gains speed. That is, jerks and jolts can appear in racing mode. Now there is a lot of noise, talks and disputes around such boxes. But it is impossible to deny the fact that motorists are not yet ready for transition to double clutch boxes. Yes, initially they can be attracted by weighty arguments in favor of a double clutch because excellent dynamics, increased efficiency, and absence of jerks really look great. But when a person learns how much the repair can cost and that it is necessarily required after a maximum of 100,000 kilometers, and often earlier, he prefers to abandon such an idea and choose a more adequate in terms of service box, albeit not so economical and dynamic. But don't give up on dual clutch transmissions. Their journey is just beginning. Already now active work is being carried out to eliminate the shortcomings. The same company Volkswagen is confident that they have managed to cope with the problem of rapid wear of parts, they have extended. The service life and the resource henceforth deserves respect. Cars with a double clutch system. It has already been noted that one of such boxes is the DSG robot in the performance of Volkswagen. But this German company is not the only manufacturer who equips its cars with a double clutch. 
There are a number of companies for which the car is provided with the possibility of equipping with such a solution. Just all of them have their own designations and markings. Namely, as you have already realized, in the case of the company Volkswagen, the name DSG is used. The designation of the box as power shift is used by Ford. If you need a BMW with such a box, look for the MDCT designation. In the case of Porsche, the name 7DT is used. Mercedes uses the name Speed Shift, which emphasizes and emphasizes the high speed of shifting. Mitsubishi has the most complicated name, because here the boxes with a double clutch are called Twin Clutch SST. Audi has made it much simpler in this respect, calling the gearbox simply S-Tronic. But this does not mean that car companies themselves produce their own robotic transmissions with double clutch type by their engineers and designers. There are only a few companies that supply complete gearboxes or their individual components to leading car companies. The technical complexity of the realization of such boxes does not allow everyone to engage in their manufacture. Several main manufacturers can be distinguished, ZF. This company supplies robots for cars of the Porsche line. Ricardo, a unique manufacturer in many respects, as it is he who created a robotized gearbox equipped with two clutches for the hypercar Bugatti Veyron. Lux supplies Volkswagen with a dry type of gearbox. But wet transmissions for the same Volkswagen company is produced by Borg Warner. Getrag is considered to be the most advanced and popular manufacturer. Among their clients are such giants of automobile production as Mercedes, Chrysler, Volvo, Renault, Mitsubishi, BMW, Ford, Ferrari, and Dodge. Some companies take different components from different manufacturers, assembling their own drivetrain. An example of this is the robotized box from BMW. Here the box itself is taken from Getrag, but the dual clutch is supplied by Borg Warner. The emergence of dual clutch robotic transmissions has been a truly impressive breakthrough in the automotive industry. But it is too early to talk about any superiority and mass introduction of these transmissions into modern cars. For all their objective advantages, they have a number of significant disadvantages. If manufacturers manage to get rid of at least partially the disadvantages, while leaving all the positive qualities, the situation will change significantly. The main emphasis should be placed on the life of boxes and their repairability. More precisely, on reducing the cost. But the price will rather fall as transmissions become more widespread, when there will be a greater number of service stations and masters ready to undertake the repair. Competition will drive down the cost of service. But for now, a lot of things don't speak in favor of these solutions. In conclusion, a dual-clutch transmission offers a unique blend of performance and efficiency, making it a popular choice in modern vehicles. By utilizing two separate clutches for odd and even gears, it enables seamless gear shifts and enhances acceleration without the lag, typically associated with traditional automatic transmissions. Understanding how this technology functions can help you appreciate the advancements in automotive engineering that contribute to a smoother and more responsive driving experience. Whether you're a car enthusiast or simply looking to make an informed decision for your next vehicle, the dual clutch system is certainly worth considering. Thank you for watching, and we hope you found this information helpful.